All right, welcome to the Mar- Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I wanted to uh, talk about getting a drug suffix PDF. I have a free one that uh, I can uh, direct you to uh, that's very accurate, and that's the real problem. So first of all, I just wanted to kind of uh, gotten a couple of emails about where uh, people can find uh, the uh, audiobooks. Uh, sometimes it's just easier to search by my name because I, I have 26 books that I've written. Uh, but Tony Guerra, T-O-N-Y-G-U-E-R-R-A. Uh, again, I'm a pharmacist that uh, just you know appreciate uh, everybody um, supporting me, and I um, you know, just wanted to kind of use this podcast as a way to give back. Uh, so memorizing pharmacology, uh, kind of the introduction to the top 200 drugs, and memorizing pharmacology mnemonics are the most popular. Um, strong residency interview questions, answers, and rationales. A little bit more for somebody that's uh, going into residency. Uh, how to pronounce drug names. If English isn't your first language, it wasn't my first language. So uh, just a, a much different way to, to know how to pronounce things if that's a struggle. And then uh, memorizing pharmacology questions, answers, and rationales, books one to seven. Uh, just to let you know, that one's pretty long. It's 18 hours. Uh, and if you really just want to kind of get into the weeds with pharmacology and uh, get quizzed on it and have all of that, then that might be a good choice. But those are the the top five, but definitely memorizing pharmacology if you've never had pharmacology before. So let's talk a little bit about um, the website. Uh, so you can go to memorizingpharm.com. Uh, you can access uh, all my books, uh, the podcast. Uh, if you need an online pharmacology class, I do teach one. Uh, and again, it's at a community college, so community college prices. Uh, and you'll be in class with uh, sometimes uh, pre-nursing students, nursing students, uh, PA students, um, many students who just want to kind of understand pharmacology. Uh, but again, it's, it's that community college price that, that a lot of people like. Uh, so in terms of prefixes and suffixes, what I did was I tried to make it a little bit easier just to find it on its own. And I can put this in the show notes, but it's memorizingfarm.com forward slash drug hyphen prefixes hyphen and hyphen suffixes. Now, I know that's a mouthful memorizingfarm.com forward slash drug hyphen prefixes hyphen and hyphen suffixes. This list is the one that comes from the books. So all of the drugs that I've put in the Memorizing Pharmacology book and the Memorizing Pharmacology Mnemonics book, uh, these I have ordered by body system or drug class. And the nice thing is that I, I do everything always in the same order. And as I kind of talk through this podcast, I'll talk about how if you've got a patient on you know 20 medications or 25 medications, something like that, maybe you're working with geriatrics, what you want to definitely do is uh, put that list in this order, G-M-R-I-N-C-E or G-M rinse, uh, gastrointestinal, musculoskeletal, respiratory, immune, neuro, cardioendocrine. That way, when you're studying for something, it's always in the same place. It's kind of like uh, having seven different rooms in your house and you know exactly where those rooms are and what's in those rooms. So you always know, okay, I'm going to the gastrointestinal room or the uh, uh, musculoskeletal room or whatever it is. Okay. So these uh, you can find, um, and I'll just go through gastrointestinal. You can obviously read them, uh, but I want to make clear what, what they are. So lixamab is the ending okay, to a specific GI drug for uh, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease. PEG comes from polyethylene glycol, which is an over-the-counter product uh, that's safe for um, young populations, things like that. But uh, there are pegylated compounds, which is a little bit different reason that you're using it. Uh, and you know, as I go through the episodes, I'll start linking uh, the episodes to this list. Uh, prozole is the next one I'll be going over. So episode five will be on the prozoles or the proton pump inhibitors. And talking a little bit about how uh, prozole can get, if you'll see some of the electronic drug cards that have just azole, A-Z-O-L-E, and that's not correct. Uh, that, that'll get it wrong because if you have azole at the end, then it could be prezole from GI. It could be conazole from immune, which is a type of antifungal. And if you're in, uh, in the neuropsych section, it could be piprazole. 
uh, which is an antipsychotic. So uh, what I really cared about was getting a, a list of drug prefixes and suffixes that you can trust. And this one is the one that, that goes to the books, okay? But I do have a complete one, a complete free PDF that you can use. And uh, the, the uh, link is a lot easier. Uh, so memorizingfarm.com forward slash drug suffix PDF. So drug, D-R-U-G, suffix, S-U-F-F-I-X, and then PDF all together. No slashes, no anything like that. And what it is is a complete 60 page list of drug prefixes and suffixes. And what I will do is I'll keep updating this PDF as I add the episodes. And so that not only do you have the list, but you have the link to the podcast episode if you want to learn a little bit more about it. Um, but that is a 60 page long drug suffix list. And so it's what I did was I, I set it up so this PDF in particular, uh, if you are on your mobile device, it's really easy to use the find feature uh, to find what you need or to find the drug that you need um, or the ending that you need. Uh, and then if you find that you don't find the ending, then you know that maybe uh, it was one that was incorrect. Or uh, if you find the ending is different than what you expected. So let me give you examples of both of those. If you try in, I-N-E, you will find hundreds of drugs. And the reason for that is that in is not a stem. It's not an ending. It's just something that happens to be at the end of many drugs. It's incomplete. So antihistamines end with in, antidepressants end with in, uh, morphine, which is a narcotic analgesic, ends with in or opioid. So too many drugs end with in. That's not a useful stem. Uh, another one that I just saw on uh, a test prep website, which is really bad, uh, that uh, you know the NCLEX test prep website has something like this, but they had just FIL rather than UFIL, and they had um, USIN instead of ZOSIN, and so they were incomplete and incorrect. So this. 60 page drug suffix list is accurate, is correct, and it's very easily searchable. Uh, but if you are on mobile, um, it's going to be, you, you might be like, okay, where is it? You just have to scroll down past the memorizing farm image, past the memorizing pharmacology mnemonics image, and then here you can see the free complete 60 page long drug suffix list as a PDF. Uh, just click on it and it'll pop up. Uh, for you. And then, like I said, I'll start updating uh, those links as we go. But this is what it looks like. And I'll just kind of talk a little bit about how you can use it. Uh, so when you are looking at this suffix and you see something like a bean and you see, well, go look for arabine, cytobine. What this is, is letting you know, hey, sometimes people think that that's the ending. It isn't. Uh, what you want to do is go to this complete ending. Okay? Something like ac a c for diclofenac for example which is one that we commonly use uh, or voltaren uh, this is an anti-inflammatory agent acetic acid derivative uh, it's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and what i'll do is as i'm kind of going through these i'll also turn them into plain english uh, which is a little bit of a, a concern is that uh, some of this is uh, more chemistry language uh, and uh, we need to uh, translate that into plain English. Uh, but most of them do have that kind of um, uh, therapeutic uh, saying to it. So we'll use Adol, for example. So uh, Tramadol is a mixed opiate receptor agonist and antagonist. And so Tramadol would be the one that we're you know thinking about there. So again, um, uh, this is the full 60 page one. It's uh, readily um, searchable uh, and you're, you're welcome to use it uh, anytime. Uh, and that's again at memorizingfarm.com forward slash drug suffix PDF.